Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP NV laptop. This is an HP NV model 13-AH001001 model. And in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can replace or remove the SSD on here and what other combination that you can have in here if you wish to change. If yours comes with a 256 gig or 500 gig and you just want to bump it up and increase it to one terabyte or two terabyte, uh, you can do it easily. We have upgraded up to two terabyte with no problem. And I'll leave the link for a compatible SSDs on here. Unfortunately, this one does not take NVMe and there are some models with a high generation CPU that do support NVMe. All right, in this video, I'm just gonna go show you guys. Also, I made a little short video how to create your Windows USB boot drive. I'll leave that link in the video description because as soon as you replace the hard drive or SSD in here, you will not have any operating system. You will need to install your operating system from the USB drive. I'll leave those links to installation of the Windows and to create your own Windows USB boot drive, which are free to do. And you can install the Windows freshly installed with under what I'll say 10 minutes and ready to go. All right, with all this set, let's go over the tools that I'll be using. Tool number one is a screwdriver set. I'll use the iFixit screwdriver set. And from this tool set, we're gonna be using a Phillips number one. And we are gonna be using a Torx number five with these two. Also, if you get the Pro set, they will include you with an opening tools. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. Now we're gonna remove the bottom rubber legs and strip and the back rubber strip right in here by placing an opening to right underneath and scoop up the rubber plus the adhesive that it has and bring it up, put it to one side. Same thing on the back, put it right underneath, strip it, put it to one side. All right, once you have this one done, now you're gonna see exposed black screws right at the back row. These are the same size and height. Under here, there's a two Phillips screw, chrome. These are the same size. And the you know, torque number five, they're in the corner front. So you wanna keep them in a separate piles, each batch. Uh, so I'm gonna remove all of them. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. All right, now that we are almost done, I'm gonna to switch to torque number five, and I'm gonna remove the two front end screws. There we go. Now, next we're gonna remove the bottom cover from the palm rest. We're gonna start always in the back corner somewhere in here. I'm gonna stick the guitar pick the opening to about one or two millimeters between the bottom cover and right there. Just gonna wiggle it around to make sure it's, I get a little opening right there. Once it's open, I'll move forward on the back, I try to work it. I'm gonna hear a few clicks, that's what you wanna hear. You wanna hear those click sounds. You wanna work yourself all around on the back. Go to the corner by the USB port right there. On the side. Go to the front, switch back to the front end of the laptop. Do this all around in the front. Once you did that, do the other side gently. There we go. Now you want to see or feel that the cover is still not out yet because there's a tiny two hooks in the middle right over here. So what do you need to do? To grab it from the corner that you peeled up and lift it up and you want to wiggle it around a little bit like this and it will hold the bottom and then it will snap and loose up the hooks right in here. Okay, the hooks is one right there and one right there, which grabs it through here and through here. So the only way you can do it, just fill it up and wiggle it around and it will release. All right, once we remove the bottom cover, then you wanna see exposed M.2 SATA connector, which is as M.2 SATA because there's a two notch on it. It's not an NVMe. You do not need to disconnect the battery to do this upgrade at all. If you do wanna disconnect, just disconnect this, pull this battery jack back and that's it. But you don't need to do. To remove the SSD, all you need to do is to use a Phillips number one, remove the single screw at the back of the SSD, and the SSD will pop out in 45 degree angle. All you need to do is to grab in a 45 and pull it backward 
on the same direction. Once the SSD is out, now you can grab the new SSD. I would recommend you to grab a Samsung brand or any other brand up to two terabyte without any problems or any issues. I seen on our website on a data sheet, spec sheet, that's a maximum 500 gig. That's absolutely not true. We have upgraded up to two terabyte with no problem and no performance degrees, decrease or anything like that. So let's say that you got the new SSD in here, make sure you have two notches. You wanna bring it down in 10 or 15 degree and push it towards the jack all the way in. And you wanna push it towards the motherboard, make sure the screw hole matches. And then just simply put the screw right on top, right there. And the last thing down here would be to just grab the bottom. If you have disconnected the battery, plug in, grab the bottom cover, put it on top, press these two in the mid, so you hear those tiny clicks from the clips. Push the sides down, make sure you hear those clicks on the sides, on the front, and if you see any gaps opening, just pinch them together. And the last thing would be to just grab the screws on the bottom, just put them on its correct places. Remember the black screws goes at the back, the chrome flips in the middle, on the bottom, and the chrome uh, hex, this torque screws goes right on the front end. All right, I, again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screws.